Right, it seems Paul's suggestion to show the how to find the uh, timing order on a this is a four cylinder engine, it works on any one, any conventional engine with a camshaft works like this. So to find the firing order, what you do, <sighs> take the rock cover off and look at the valves and the inlet valve is with the inlet port obviously. If I need to tell you that, you don't know. And on this engine it's Siamese, so you've got exhaust, inlet, come back a bit there, we zoomed right out. No, yeah. Right, exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust, exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust. And turning it around clockwise on the front pulley, like that, what you do, you look at number one, which is the one closest to you, and I don't need to tell you that either, on these engines. There, that's number one inlet valve. So wind it in clockwise direction until that valve opens. There, right? That's number one cylinder. Then you look at the other inlet valves, which is that one, that one, and that one. So you watch these, keep winding it in a clockwise direction. Right? And the next one to go down is number three. Just there. Right? So on this engine, I can tell you already the firing order is 1342, which is on most. However, this is a foolproof way, so just to double check, keep going. The next one down will be that one, next to it, watch. There we are, look, that's the next inlet valve. So the last one will be this one, number two, right? And sure enough it is. So that's what it is. So that's how to find the firing order on any conventional engine. If it's a four cylinder, it's easy, come out with six, eight, ten. Just look at the inlet valves and follow the order they go down. Write it down if you get lost. The other thing to check is the direction of the distributor, which we all know as Dizzy. So, if we wind it round again, half out the way. Where are we? Right, it goes that way round. See? Winding forward, it goes that way round. So what you do, I haven't got a rotor arm on, but you get the rotor arm on and you get it pointing, come back a little bit, get the rotor arm on there and get it pointing to number one cylinder, there. And then all you do is follow it, it goes that way around, so you just follow it. So when the rotor arm, which is got a peg in it. I'm doing this left-handed. It's difficult, isn't it? There we are. Right, that's got a peg in. But let's take, for argument's sake, the peg is in the direction. So when it's there, that is number one. That's pointing to number one. And number one on this cap is that one. There. So you just follow it round. So the next one round is that one. Then you get that one, and then that one. I'm pointing, you can't see it, sorry. Do it again. Right, first one is that one. The next one, number three, is that one. That one's number four, and that one's number two. And that's it. And then you don't, you know, you can ask and people tell you 15 different answers. Well, tough. You know, now you know. So there we are. I think that's all you need to know. Nice short video. All right, hope it helps. Bye.